three things that professional singers do and I'm gonna reveal the secrets right now in this video. Hello everyone, my name is Tanya Levy. I'm a vocal coach from Germany living here with my studio in Singapore and I help you to hashtag weaponize your voice, get strong and kick ass with your voice and get ready for the stage. Don't forget to subscribe. Please look also in the info box for all of my courses or lessons and let's get started. The number one thing that great singers are doing is having dynamic. Dynamics, dynamic is highly important if you choose a song, if you work on a song, you want to make sure that you create dynamic. Now what we want to avoid at all costs is not being stiff, not sing a song monotone. Just because you can't hit the pitch, it doesn't mean that it sh should sound like this. Holy night, beautiful night, no. Dynamic is thinking about how you want to execute the song. Do you want to start with a breathy onset? Do you want to start with a full vocal closure with a global attack and then thin it out on a beautiful vibrato or thin it out on a decrescendo or crescendo? You have to think about if I'm going to choose a song, what are the ways that I can execute the song? Uh, am I doing a breathy onset and then, you know, just thin it all out with a crescendo, decrescendo? Am I doing a global onset and I'm gonna start a little bit more powerful and keep that phrase up powerfully and then end with a vibrato or am I belting that phrase and gonna play around with my vibrato am I you know starting a little bit earlier than the beat or whatever do I do what do I do with the tempo of the song do I include some riffs or some runs to spice up the song and create a little bit more dynamic and make it a little bit more interesting do I have any kind of ad libs that I do within the song is there a high note that I can bring into it to spice things up and make it a little bit more interesting now do I sing the whole song in my speaking voice and speech quality? Do I blend all the register or do I crack intentionally like Sia? So you see there are so many things that you can do and if you think about those great stars like Sia that do intentional cracks for example and they switch between their speaking voice and one, two, three, one, two, three drinks and then they go into a really hard global attack and then they go and I want to swing on the chandelier. So you see they are just jumping with in a whole range to get into that really high note so they create dynamics to make it more interesting make it more appealing so it's not going to be monotone and stiff and just because you can't hit that note it doesn't mean that it sounds super interesting number two and that is the emotional interpretation and I would even say that belongs to number one because emotional interpretation is so so highly important it has been a study in Germany and they went outside asking people would you forgive if someone was being a little bit off pitch here and there but would sing a song with emotions or would you say no it's more important that he is on pitch and accurate all the time now the people said that they would likely prefer if someone would sing it with a lot of emotion rather than be completely all the time on pitch believe me when I tell you you can have a beautiful Beautiful star up there but if he's not giving his heart there is if he doesn't have an emotional connection to what he sings the song is just gonna be boring it's just gonna be flat it will not conquer the audience it will not you know build a connection with the audience so and I think in my personal experience here in the studio you can belt the sh of every every song in the world but really make sure that you build an emotional connection that you are a storyteller that you understand what you're delivering here there is a message in every song and you are the storyteller of the song so I think yes emotions 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 and number three I think it's super equal as all of the other topics is having the right song well let's say it like this if you are a contra alto like myself and you're gonna pick a song that is sung by Whitney Houston or Mariah Carey where you have to whistle and you have to sing around in the upper register you're gonna probably have a really really hard time now for everyone that is also a contra alto like me, that is more comfortable in the lower registers, you will feel that it's gonna be very difficult to sustain, sound beautifully, and go into a different range where you might not have your sweet spot up there. You wanna make sure that the song represents your skills, your sweet spot, your comfortable spot where your uh, singing voice likes to sit. Also it should uh, represent you as a person, you as an artist, 
business, maybe the attitude that you have as an artist, maybe the whole outlet that you have as an artist, maybe you are a Lady Gaga kind of project and maybe therefore you want to go with different kind of songs and this is really really important because if I, let's say for example, I was a former rocker, I love rock and roll, I do still love rock and roll, I was all about rock, 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 I was a rock singer and this is where my voice sounded the best but if I'm gonna switch into Ariana Grande pop it's just not gonna represent me or the timbre of uh, timbre of my voice or the whole outlet of my voice as well I hope you enjoyed my small tips give it a thumbs up now it would make me so happy if you watch that video right here with my student working on speechless and if you want to go through a tutorial then please watch this tutorial and learn something new about singing and something knowledgeable and helpful please support me on Instagram and I see you in my next video